Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. I'm going live today to show you what I have planned for this year's cardstock share. And I'll even give you a little sneak peek of my designer series paper share as well. I'm going to go through all the colors and what you're going to get if you order a cardstock share. And then I'm going to show you how to go about ordering it talk about how you can get free shipping and just you know the perks that you can take advantage of so the first time I offered this hey I have someone joining me Alicia hello the first time I offered this share was with my newsletter so if you're not already subscribing to my newsletter I'll put a link down there in the description after this video is over and the those who were able to order it they got the early bird special and it was also my team members and I was able to ship to the team members because the team members, my team is actually allowed to have this already. I mean, this in color collection that, that is not available to my customers customers until June 3rd when this, when this catalog goes live. So I was already able to ship some out and I'm going to get the rest out. And this is, this is like my very last one of my sort of my sample packets and I'm still waiting for more supplies. To get the rest out. Hi Carmen. So I can't open this catalog yet but su suffice it to say the new ink colors that I can show you from the cardstock are really wonderfully coordinated and nice and bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this. Hi Darlene. Take this color family chart. I'm just getting to say hello at the beginning but once I start looking at my paper I might not be able to say hello to everybody because I can't see my screen. But um, hello Charlene. And I'm going to go through all of these colors with you so you get to see them with like with the nice light and then I'm going to explain what you're going to get in the cardstock share and this was the idea of one of my team members Nola she said after I did the last designer series paper share she said I really would love to have you know it would be really nice if we could have a sample of all the cardstock so I thought about it for a long time ever since the last catalog launch and I I really didn't have the time to cut this apart and we all we also kind of chatted back and forth with if I don't cut it apart you have more options so if I and I just did recently a, a card stock video where you I showed you how to make card bases and I think you just have more options when you have a full piece of eight and a half by eleven card stock because you can make card bases with it you can you can use it for matting and layering hi Shirley right you can have you have so many more options than if you just you know, if you if I was to cut it up for you, not only that, I just didn't have the time to cut it up for you. I just wasn't able to. Plus, this I just think is a lot easier to ship. All right, so I, I have it in packets. I've been working on this for a long time. This is something I've been thinking about, planning. Hi, Joanne, and I'm going to explain. I had to, all the different parts that go into this. In case you ever maybe maybe someone's a demonstrator on here, or maybe my team members, and you ever want to do this yourself, it's a massive undertaking. Okay, so there's a couple reasons for that. And when you decide to do a cardstock share, the way Stampin' Up! does it is you have to have the orders and then you, you, you gather orders and then you order the supplies. And so depending on how you order cardstock depends on the price you pay. So for example, I can order different cardstock in packets that are variety packets like this. Okay, hi Sheila. See, these are variety packets. And you don't get as many in the variety packets as you get if you order this by itself. So this one I ordered because I saw it was going to go on back order or it, it said it was in low inventory. So I went ahead and grabbed this gray granite. But I don't have all the colors I need yet to do this. So I'm going to gather orders and I'm going to order the cardstock. Now depending if I can get enough orders, I can get these bigger packs, saving every saving everybody money and, and also just making it more economical. And if I if not, I have to get these smaller packs these variety packs and then it costs more. So if you ever order cardstock, if you need a lot of one color, you're better off getting the solid color packs. It's not that the price is too different between the two. It's, it's the fact that you get more inside a pack that has just the same color of cardstock. You get, say here, let's see, 24 sheets in this kind of pack and in the variety packs only uh, 20 because you get the two of each of the color families. So I had to really do a lot of planning, calculations, and then the shipping. So what happened is I thought I was going to be able to ship this with, oh, I thought, I thought, oh, I could fit a catalog in there. I can barely fit a catalog in there. I'll show you when I put it in the package later. I want to show you the package. 
I can barely get a catalog in with the, even in the flat rate mailers. And I also thought I could do the designer series paper share with the cardstock, but I quickly found out from shipping these to my team, I can't even squeeze like a penny in there after I'm done. There's nothing, I can't squeeze anything else into those envelopes. Hardly. I put this little extra little thing they get. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a surprise. But anyway, it just puffs the envelope and that's it. Maybe a little card. I can't really fit anything else in there. So I had to order the bags. And, you know, so that's that's something you have to consider. And so my husband, when he looked at my spreadsheet, he's like, wow, you're not even charging, like, anything extra. And he's like, he was saying, for our labor, because we sit and we did this for, like, you know, we're trying to do this planning. And, and he's helping me put the ones in the bags for my team. And he's like, this takes forever. And I didn't consider that I wasn't going to, I was going to have to ship them separately. I didn't consider that. The cost of the bags, the cost of the, la the labels, the cost of the ink. So everyone's getting a really good deal. By bottom line, you're getting a really good deal because I'm not good at business things. So I'm more, I'm, I'm the creative side of the house. Next time he's, so this, so then he said, you have to stop offering free shipping and all this business. I'm still sort of offering free shipping, but only if you get both of the shares. I'll explain all that sort of at the end. Okay, so now I'm going to look down at my camera. I may not be able to welcome anyone else that comes in because I'm going to be looking at my colors, not at my screen where the comments are flowing in. So what I'm going to do right now is go through these colors with you that come in the card share. I'm going through these um, in colors, the 10 in colors. We have five new in colors. Then we have five colors that have been around for a year already, and they'll be around for one more year. Every time we get a new set of colors, they're around for two years. Okay, um, what I'm going to do with some of these codes, by the way, is I create labels. I have these color codes and I have a labels course and I, I also create labels. So I'll, I'll have a digital download for the new updated label soon. I know some of you have been downloading my color labels, but I don't have them updated yet with the new colors. But I do have a digital download for that. All right, so here we go. So this is Cinnamon Cider. Okay, so the, this, I'll just show you the five colors together and then I'll kind of go through them. So like, they, this is the new in color collection, like that, okay? And so it looks nice when you fan them out. You really don't get a feel for how nice these are by themselves until you sort of fan them out and you start thinking about color coordination. And those of you that got the paper pumpkin kit this month know about this color coordination and how well these colors go together. Four of the five colors were represented in this month's paper pumpkin kit. And not only that, th there's another, there's a whole suite called Flowers for Every Season, which I've been sneak peeking, which I did some jar of flower shaker cards, and they highlighted these, these in colors. All right, so back to this is Cinnamon Cider. I'm going to flip them over so I can keep them in order. See, it doesn't do it justice by itself, but when you put it next to the other. Just Jade. This is one of the colors in the Forever Greenery suite. This is called Bumblebee. And this looks a lot like Crush Curry when you put them next to each other, but it's brighter than Crush Curry. And it's one of the colors in this designer series paper. I wanted to pull this out. So I'm just kind of giving you examples. The Just Jade is in this Forever Greenery, and the Bumblebee is in this Ornate Garden. Okay, so you're going to get to see this. Hi, Linda. Okay, so there we go. I got to see that pop up. This is Magenta Madness. And this is the color that's sort of growing on me. And it's really, it's really bold and bright, like the 70s. And this is called Misty Moonlight. Okay, so you're going to get these. You're going to get one of each. So you get to, with a piece of cardstock. If you saw my recent video, you can make two cards of, the, of each piece of cardstock, eight and a half by 11. I'm protecting them in bags and putting them in an envelope so they sort of, you know, Sometimes they might get a little tiny scuff on the corner, but most of the time they're going to be just fine in those plastic bags. I have already full-size plastic bags. Now let me show you the next color collection. Okay, this is this is the in colors from the year before. For you know that's that's going on for one more year. See again, you know this is this is what I'm showing you now is the 2019-2021 color collection. Okay. So again, by themselves, not so much. Then when you put them all together, you see how they coordinate so well. This purple posy, by the way, was in the paper pumpkin and it went really well with the in colors. This seaside spray is one of the colors I just used in a kit. I just finished a kit, three cheers for your project kit, and that was one of the coordinating colors. 
All right, so what we have here is Rococo Rose. This was featured in our Paper Pumpkin Kit a couple months ago, and I have the blends. The blends are amazing for this. You can color in your flowers and roses with Rococo Rose. Okay, then we have Terracotta Tile. This goes good with Memorable or the Mosaic Mood or Memorable Mosaic Stamp Set and Mosaic Mood Designer Series Paper, which is my favorite paper that's retiring. I mean, I do love the Dinosaur Suite, and that paper is retiring too. I love the dinosaurs. I love the whole suite. That's my favorite suite. But that paper is so shiny, and it coordinates with terracotta tile. This is pretty peacock. And as my husband mentioned, it doesn't even look like a peacock. It's more like a teal or something. And then this is seaside spray, a nice sort of pastel color. And then this is purple posy. So you can get blends for these. I'm pretty sure you can still get the blends for others. Just, I think everything but the Purple Posy ink. We don't sell it in an ink pad, but we sell it in, I think we, we sell it in the marker collection, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let me put these away. I'm not away, just back in their pile. Because the one I'm showing you is a sample it's accounted for. And it's, I, I wouldn't have, if I realized I was doing a video, I probably wouldn't have wrapped it up so nice. Actually, I'll put it away later so you don't have to hear the sound of crinkling paper. Put that over here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the Neutrals collection. Okay, the Neutrals collection. So if you notice, this is what I noticed. I never noticed it before. But at the top of every collection, they put the red. It goes like down the colors of the rainbow. So like in the first part of each collection, the cinnamon cider was the closest thing to red. So that was on the top. And then, then it was like the Mary Merlot's on the top of this pile. The Brights has the Poppy Parade. So whatever the red is, it's on the top of the pile of the collection, which is nice. I really got to know my colors by doing this, too. Okay, so you can sign up for this by June 3rd. This is my next, this is, the round I'm doing is June 3rd. It's because that's the day the catalog launches. And there's an extra special rewards going on, you know, during June 3rd and the month of, the month of June. June 3rd to June 30th which I outlined in my newsletter. So I, I'm definitely taking advantage of some extra rewards to be able to get some extra little goodies to be able to give out as prizes to customers and to be able to get some extra card stock to stock up on. And, you know, just to keep these prices down because like I said, I'm kind of breaking the bank, but that I, I'm happy to do this. I'm only doing this once a year. I'm going to open it up June, to June 3rd and then I'll open it up again later in the month and then maybe that'll be it. As soon as I get enough people for that last one, and I'm done. I can't keep doing this. I have, there's just no way I would be able to sustain doing this, ordering over and over. It's just the beginning of the catalog launch type of thing where you get to try all the cardstock, get to try all the designer series paper. Okay, so neutrals, mm -hmm. just gorgeous neutrals when you see them all together. So these are gonna, these are gonna pretty much Mary Merlot has a you know a couple things you you probably want to coordinate it with, but all these other ones, they go with pretty much anything. I mean even the Knight of Navy I've used these with almost every color and they're all because they are neutral they kind of take on the colors they go complementary with the colors you put them with. So let's go through these, and this is so this is Mary Merlot great for you know wine theme and and some holiday things. And then we have, this is Early Espresso. So you got your color, you got your color of coffee there. If I put it in the screen by itself, it doesn't give you the right color, but when I put it next to the other colors, you get to see, see it better. Okay, and then we have Soft Suede, Soft Suede. Okay, this is crumb cake. I recognize crumb cake because I. This is the one I order the most of, of all the neutrals. Maybe maybe followed by night and navy, but I I order packs of this all the time. I probably have a pack of this in my stash. These other ones, I never keep a whole pack of these other ones, unless I'm do like unless this time when I'm going to be ordering for cardstock share, I don't keep a whole pack of any of these because like this one here, I don't think I've ever even used it. What is this one? This one is. Yeah, this is great. This is, no, Sahara Sand. I hardly ever use Sahara Sand. It's part of some of my kits, but I would probably never use that. I prefer the crumb cake. 
So the Sahara sand is pretty light. I'd probably go with vanilla instead of using Sahara sand. Okay, then this one is gray granite, and it's very close to smoky slate. And I'm going to keep these in order in the bags with those labels so that you can identify what your paper was. And that's, I'm, I'm doing better labeling than, than, than even Stampin' Up! does because check this out. I want to show you this. This is always just something that I, like here, see neutrals. This is what they give you, neutrals. And you can go on the website and find out what's in the neutrals. But I'm always writing with my pen all over the edges of these packs what's inside here. And you don't have to do all that. You're going to get this label that I've spent a long time making these labels. And you're going to get the nice label showing you what's in each pack. All right, so where was that? It was Smoky Slate. And then we have the darker gray. So this is the basic gray. And then we have the Mossy Meadow. And we have Knight of Navy. Okay, so that's that collection. So now we're already up to 20 sheets. You get 60 sheets all together, even though there's 53 colors, you're going to get some extras of certain colors, which I'll get to. And, and even more, if you got, if you got the early bird special, you're even getting, you know, you're even getting like 66, but for everybody else is getting 60. If you sign up now, you're getting 60 sheets. Okay. So what I'm doing now is the brights collection. Oh, I think it's 180 GSM, but I, you have to look up what I'm not sure. Let me see if it tells me. Oops, you guys can't see inside the catalog. I'm not allowed to show you the inside. But I can look inside off camera. And I don't know if it tells us the weight. But it, if you, what the one thing I want to accomplish by doing the card stock share is to let my customers, potential customers, and crafty friends and team members see how qual the quality of this card stock. Because when you see it, it doesn't say in our... It doesn't say it there in our catalog, but I'm thinking 180. When you see it and feel it, you're going to know there's no comparison between what you can buy at Michael's and those little cheapy packs, you know, three for $10. They're like paper thin. You could put them in a copy machine or, you know, Hobby Lobby or somewhere. This is not even a comparison. This is like really high quality. So, and it's dyed all the way through. A lot of times you get cardstock and it's not dyed all the way through. So you start doing your scoring with your scoring tool. And you get this big white crease and you're like, well, that looks cheap. Well, that's because it's, it had white inner core and our cardstock is dyed all the way through. So no white inner core. Okay. Fantastic. This is my favorite of all the collections. Even I like this better than the ink colors. I like this brights collection. And what, what I mean by collection is these, these are automatically going to sort of go together. A lot of these are co coordinated together already of these colors when you work with the brights or work with a certain collection it gives the whole feel okay so we'll go through each of these and again with that red one on top all right so that is poppy parade okay and you know because of my light it's kind of taken on a different color so let's put it over here next to these other colors see there you go see how it's taken on the color of of this next color but it, that was um melon mambo but if i put it over here see th this gives you a better idea what the poppy parade is okay so that's poppy parade put that up there and then this is melon mambo fun fun color and i have a whole what is it called a product medley that goes with that color this is flirty flamingo nice tropical feel this one is Mango Melody. Mango Melody. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. I hope you can see the color better. I think it's better when I fan them all out. You can see them better. Daffodil Delight. Good for flowers. Granny Apple Green. This was great for Halloween time and making those monsters. I color in the, with the blends with Granny Apple Green. Okay, Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. Look how similar they are, right? I mean, they're similar. This is like a lighter version of that one. Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. There's a couple of my favorites because they look like the ocean. I can't, there's an ocean suite or a nautical suite type of thing. Well, it's more of a whimsical suite. And I just, I'm going to be so excited about it. It has to do with a whale, but I can't tell you, you know, I can't, I can't show you the inside of this catalog, but that's going to be my favorite, I think. So that was Pacific Point, by the way. That was Pacific Point, And this was 
gorgeous grape. Okay, so I have two more collections to show you and then just a few more neutrals. Neutrals. Okay, so there we go. That was the brights. If you didn't understand my my crazy color color names, that's what they are. And the bags. I had to make sure before I put this on YouTube that I had enough bags, that I had enough labels. Because it's one thing, I might run out, I mean, if I try to order on June 3rd and anything goes into back order, I'm still going to send all my crafty friends whatever cardstock I have, even if it's 50, what is it, what did I say, you're going to get 53 pieces. If I have 50 pieces, I send you that, and I send you the other three later. I'm not going to wait for everything to come in because I have to get these out the door. But I had to still make sure for the planning purposes that I had enough bags and enough of all the things that go to go with this. Labels, bags, ink. Uh, I had to order the shipping materials from the post office. That was fun. That took a while. You know, the, the bubble mailers, the flat rate envelopes, because my post office doesn't just carry that stuff. It does a little bit, but if you have to ask them each time, and they're like, uh, what do you need that for? And you can have two. And I'm, so that's not a way to do any kind of mass mailing. You have to plan ahead, get post office supplies. Anyway, it's a process. I learned a lot in this process. And that's why I'm ready to open it up to YouTube, my YouTube crafty friends, because my team helps me learn things <laughs> by experimentation. So that now what you have here is the Subtles collection. Again, look at them all together. And you can kind of see how that goes. How they, how they complement each other, how nice they are. Okay, so we have Subtles. This is, this is called Blushing Bride. Blushing Bride. And this is Calypso Coral. This is in, both of those I'm pretty sure. I know this one It is in the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper, which is now on clearance. So I use a lot of Calypso Coral for cards with that suite. This is called Petal, Petal Pink. And Petal Pink's great for the little piggies. My favorite little stamp set that's retiring. It's called This Little Piggy. And this little, this color here, Petal Pink, was great with the piggies. Okay, here's, here's what I talked about. Sometimes the corners of the paper are nicked, and I had a choice. Do I tell Stampin' Up that the paper got nicked when they sent it to me? No, because if I did, I would never have been able to send anybody any paper because it happened every so often, and, you know, things get bounced around, and so that's just going to happen in the cardstock share once in a while. You're going to get a couple papers that are nicked, and that one means you just make the card the other way, and then you use the side to punch, or you just use the little corner rounder. That's all. I'm not going to be able to control that unless I send paperback, which I do not have time to do. If I do, I'll never get the cardstock shares out. And they're just little things. Like I say, we have bigger fish to fry. We don't want to worry about little things. What color was that, by the way, as I yapped along? That was so saffron. That was so saffron color. And then this is called Soft Sea Foam. It's just a really, really light type of green, like light green color. Soft Sea Foam. I'm still in the subtles here. This is called Pear Pizzazz. This one was fun. It went with my For the Love of Felt project kit. I used a lot of this cardstock for that kit. Pear Pizzazz. I believe that's one of the colors in here too. Let's check. I think it is. Let me pull this back. Give you something to look at right in the corner. This paper here is called For Forever Greenery and it's one of the colors. Pear Pizzazz goes with that. Mitt Macron. Mitt Macron. Let's see, what else? Pool Party. This is Pool Party. And then, I'm already forgetting the colors. Balmy Blue. Pretty sure that one went with the Come Sail Away suite. And this one is Highland Heather. All right, so that was, those were your subtle collection. Your subtles. And I already don't know what happened to the bag. Here's the bag. Put that over here. And then we have the Regals. So really, really nice. This one's like really rich colors. The Regals. Sorry for all the wrinkling. Like I said, I didn't plan this. It was like, I came to the realization that tomorrow is Monday and I have to mail this out. This is one of the people who got the early bird special. I'm not offering that anymore, but so I'm going flip that label over so that nobody thinks they're going to get that early bird special anymore. I mean, you're going to get it if you ordered it ahead of time from my newsletter, but um, not anymore. 
So anyway, I'll, I'll explain what you will get. So you're going to get all these though. And then I realized that's the only one I have. And if I'm going to show it to anybody before I mail it tomorrow, that's the only package I have that's even complete because I'm still waiting on supplies to complete more packets. So that's kind of, that's why I said I better do a live video before I mail this last cardstock share off. So one, two, three, four, five, and there should be one behind here hiding. It should be a blue of some kind because I can see a green. Nope, it's another purple. Yeah, see how it goes in the colors of the rainbow when they order the colors. All right, so here we go. Rich Regals. This first one is called Real Red. Okay, so it's it, you can compare it to the next one, which is Cherry Cobbler. So this is the one that really looks good for the Christmas things. That Real Red. You just It's kind of like your standard red. And then this one is your Cherry Cobbler. Okay, so there were sweets that had cherry cobbler that coordinated with that at the holiday time. So our holiday catalog's coming out early this year. You'll be excited about that. Earlier than normal. I mean, we're, we're, it used to be that it didn't come out until I think September. Now it's going to come out in August, I'm pretty sure. But it, don't quote me on that. If anybody knows, but I know it's coming out a month early. Just can't remember what. But, um, but anyway, you're going to get to see all these colors in that holiday catalog, I'm sure. This is Cajun Craze. That's always in the holiday catalog. So is Pumpkin Pie, the next color. Because this is a good, you know, Halloween color. All right, this is Crush Carry. And we can compare that to that Bumblebee. I don't want to grab that paper because it's too far away from me right now. But that's our new color called Bumblebee. And it looks a lot like this Crush Carry, doesn't it? It looks a lot like it. Just not, the crushed carry is not as bright. And then we have Old Olive. Oh, I love this Old Olive. I use this all the time. Old Olive. Garden Green. I'm not as happy about Garden Green as I am about the Old Olive. I just like that color better. Garden Green's your typical green, I would say. Or actually, Shaded Spruce is more your typical green. This is Shaded Spruce. And this is, I like this better. So out of these three colors... The colors kind of give you a feel, so I think that one makes me happy, and the shaded spruce. This garden green does not make me happy. When I see it, I'm always like, you know, don't want to use it for a whole card. All right, these two I always get mixed up. Always get mixed up. This is Blackberry Bliss, and this is Rich Razzleberry. Blackberry Bliss, Rich Razzleberry. And let's put those in order so they stay in order. So you get 50 pieces of... You get this 50, so you get one piece of each and you can make two cards. And then you're going to get 10 more. I'm giving you a combination of the basics. So you are going to get 60 sheets. And then I've already done my early bird, but I do have an extra little thing for... So for the basics, I put so many of each one. I think it was like, you know, five, three, and two or something like that. Because I gave you more Whisper White than anything because the Whisper White is the one that, that you're going to use the most of. With your scan and cut, or making cards, or embossing, layering, inside of cards. But I wanted to make sure I didn't give you the Whisper White that I'm used to using in my tutorials. Because you can't... Make, I'm just going to show you that for a second. Just again, I want to teach you some things that are useful in, in my videos here. This is the one I use in my tutorials. Like 99% of the time I'm going to be using this one. Whisper White Cardstock. This is what I use to cut out with the scan and cut. Whenever I'm cutting stamped images. This is very thin. This is the thin Whisper White. But I didn't want to do a cardstock share where I gave you this because you can't make cards out of it. It's just too thin. But it's great for cutting stamped images. It's great for cutting mats and layers. It's just not great for card making. So I wanted to give you options. If you're going to emboss and make cards, you need what's called... You have to make sure, and, it's, and later when you order this, make sure you order the right one. Because we have, you know, some of each. You want to order the thick one. Thick, very vanilla thick. Basic black only comes thick, so there's no choice. You don't get that mixed up. Basic black. Okay, and um, look, you guys can see my pajamas I'm wearing here through the reflection. And then whisper white. So you want the one that says thick. Okay, thick whisper white. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do for the extra people, since you guys missed out on my early bird. Early bird was like earlier when you the newsletter. Those of you that actually read the newsletter, which is, what, 30% of the... I have this newsletter I send out, and only 30%, that's what Mail, you know, MailChimp tells me, only 30% ever open it. So, you know, missed out, but I have just an extra little thing I'm adding to, the, to this one, and it's something I have that's retired. And it's just, it's something I found in my stash after I'd already come up with this, and it's called Naturals White. 
So it's a retired Stampin' Up. So those of you that missed out on the early, the other early bird where they got this, the other early bird got what's called shimmery white. So the next, the next group, the, the July, what's it called? Not July. The June 3rd group's going to get a piece of this until I run out and then maybe I'll find, then I'm going to go into my retired stash and I have some, something that looks like so saffron. It's some kind of creamy color. I forget what it's called, but I'm going to give that to someone. So you're always going to get like one extra piece of cardstock just for fun and lots of other extra little things that I do, little extra touches. So that was, that's it. So you're going to get 60 sheets. That's the cardstock share. It's, it's, um, oh gosh, did I already forget the price? It's $35. Okay. I already forgot the price. So that, so if you get that one is $35 and then I have a cardstock share that's $40. So if you get both, that's $75, and you, you get them, then you get free shipping. And if not, I have, it, I have just a flat rate shipping on my store, and my flat rate shipping is just $4. Okay, so my store, this is not the same as the Stampin' Up! store. I wanted to make sure I made that clear. Okay, so I have this little store called the Papered Chef Shop, and that's, that's linked in here. Oops, low battery. You can't see that. That's on the other one. Okay, so anyway... Cardstock share, and and it, it my site's secure, but it, it, it's not like you don't really pay through my site anyway. It's just a link to PayPal. It links to PayPal. So I have the cardstock share, 35, and I have the other share, the designer series paper share. Let's go back. So anyway, I, I would have done a screen, I would have done like an actual screen capture of all this, but... That would have been another whole video, and then I wouldn't have been able to get it out to you right away. So I have a designer series paper share. So a little sneak peek of that one is that I'm going to be cutting up these papers, these new papers. Okay, so you're going to get six by six samplers of every new designer series paper, 120 sheets of it. And I just want to show you a couple of them. I don't have them yet because I can't order them until June 3rd. Again, that's why I need everybody to order by June 3rd because you're going to be like, as soon as I get enough orders, I'm placing an order. Then as soon as I get the next group of orders, then as soon as I get another set of people, then I'm going to make another, like another set of people, meaning every time I get a set of four people. So four of you, it's called a share. That's why it's called a share. Just so you know, it's a share. I'm cutting up this product and sharing it between four people. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like and how I'm packaging that. I have a little bit of a sample of that. Okay, so I'm going to be packaging it like this. So it's going to be cut up. Well, th these flowers for every season were already cut up. Okay, and that's the ornate garden. So you get 24 sheets. There'd be 24 sheets in this pack, and you're going to get six different little packs. This one would have, like, world of good and in good taste. So that's just a sample because I don't have enough to... I didn't have enough to make all my packets. I just started... I just made them with... We're only allowed to order two packets. That's all we were allowed to pre-order. But that's as far as I got. I know I'm going to get more cards to stock shares than this, in fact, my team alone ordered more than these. So I'm, this is just my little sort of, I, I'm, I don't want to be overwhelmed when my order comes in and I have to start cutting paper up. But I'm just kind of preparing. That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be cutting this up. And there's 10, there's 10 types of paper, 10 t different styles of paper. All right. So not only that, just for fun, I wanted to tell you what else is going on in my little store. So I'm trying to raise... So, yeah, it's, it's definitely six by six, Carmina. And the reason is, I'm going to go back to this packaging. I really thought when I planned, when I started planning all this, that I was going to be able to put everything in one package and give everybody free shipping and the world was going to be, you know, everything was going to be easy. But then I soon found out after I got these from the post office that I can't fit, you know, I can't fit your cardstock share, a catalog. I tried to give you a catalog at that point because... I try to put a catalog in with the cardstock share or the designer series paper share just to save on shipping because a, a lot of people, they just say, oh, can I have a catalog? And then they ask like other demonstrators, can I have a catalog? And they just start collecting catalogs for whatever reason. I do not, it does not, I do not even understand why people ask for more than one catalog from all different people. But what happens is we each end up paying, like we have to buy the catalog, we have to pay for shipping to get the catalog sent to us. Then we have to pay, I have to pay $8.40 to ship it out to someone. I can't use first class mail. So anyway, bottom line is catalogs are expensive to mail. I can't mail them any cheaper than that because I can't, I, they're, they're heavier than 13 ounces. 
And this is 13 ounces is the limit for first class mail. Look how thick that is. So I have to put it in here. And then while I put it in there, anyway, I can put it in with the designer series paper share or another share. You're gonna get two, you're gonna get your stuff shipped to you separately. Bottom line. That's my bottom line. Is that but I'm trying to make it so I'm raising some funds for my new catalog launch. And so what I have done, this is not from the new catalog, this is old, retired, retired paper. So what I have done is I've got a box of stuff that I'm raising, I'm selling, I mean, not, I'm selling to raise some capital for my new catalog launch. So these are retired papers, Tropical Escape. Some are very retired, many years ago, like a few years ago. Like all these things, I haven't labeled them yet, but they're gonna be 350 for these little samplers. I have loads and loads of them. I'm, I've been working on this. I put a lot of these in my store already. This is from a few holiday catalogs ago. I can't sell, I can't even sell the ones from this past holiday catalog because it's not. It's too soon. We have a certain waiting period. I know these are way past the waiting period though. Like for, I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek of what's in my store. That's what I'm doing right now. These are not something that's in the new catalog. I don't have the new catalog ones yet. I hope you understand that. These are these are just ones I'm selling in my store. That same place where you go to sign up for paper shares. No extra shipping's involved because the shipping is flat rate $4 across my whole site. That's all the shipping is. And that means that, you know, you can I can put these in with your designer series paper shares. Dashing along. I mean, I have I have loads of them and I, I'm going to have more. I mean, I could probably go through my house and do this. I could do this again and again until the cows come home. I have so much paper. I'm only just kind of working my way back. Oh, there's 12. Good question. Thank you, Carmina. So each of these have 12. 12 in there. 12 little sheets. So it's a sampler. This one's pretty. This is from several years ago. And this one here is so great. I wanted to just keep it, but then I said, you know what? Um, I was listening to like Steve Harvey. Sometimes I listen to his talk shows, like on my little Facebook feed. And he was talking about how he wanted to get a car when he was younger. And his mama kept saying to him, you have to get the old car out of the driveway before you can get a new car. Anyway, it keeps sticking with me. I have to get my old stuff out of my craft room or I can't get, I can't, I can't like, oh, I'll tell you about the starter kit in a minute. Yeah. Someone asked, Louise asked about the starter kit. I can't get new stuff, even though this looks so much like the paper here, okay? This is the, we have this paper. This is new paper, by the way. I'm back to the new paper. This old paper I'm selling, going places, looks very similar to the new paper, but I want the new paper. I'm trying to make room for the new paper. See how, how similar? This is retired. Because I, I don't want it, like I'm, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and if I, just, if I just keep getting new stuff and not getting rid of old stuff, I have to let go. Like, I want to keep it, but I have to let it go. So I want to bless others with, like, you might not you might not have as much paper as me. And you will get to, like, I'm just showing you what one of my samplers looks like. You're going to get to see all these other papers that you've never seen before because they're so many years old. You can't even get them anymore. Like, once, and by the way, June 2nd, our paper's retiring. Every single paper that you see on our website right now, every piece of designer series paper is retiring. So this is just an example of a, a card sampler. I cut them up, packaged them, labeled them, put them in bags. I listed all the coordinating colors on my website. I haven't even got to them all yet. You might see ones here that maybe you already ordered a cardstock share before and you see something new. Well, I can send you a free shipping coupon if that's the case. So I don't want you to pay shipping again, right? Because like I said, free shipping if you've ordered both paper shares. And those are all going to be like listed down here. See all these little things. I've listed some of them already. These little paper shares. Oh, each little pack is three fifty, dollars unless it's specialty. So I have some specialty ones and they're $4, I think. Specialty like this. These, this is like, oh, gorgeous. I think I only have four of these. Oh my goodness. This is specialty, meaning it was not cheap. It was, it's frosted. Look at, look at this. This is probably my thing that I'm having the hardest time letting go of. <laughs> because like I said, I want to make room for the 12 new designer series papers that are coming. Not to mention the, the 15 kites of paper I have to keep that I'm not even allowed to sell because they're just retiring. If they're just retiring now, like Stampin' Up! Demonstrators can't sell them. Like for instance, next week or in two days, 
in, in two or three days, all these papers are going to be retiring. You know, painted poppies, come sail away, all those gorgeous papers. And, I, and so I have to hold on to them for at least a year. So I have enough stuff to keep me busy. I have the 15 that are going to retire. I have the 12 new ones coming. So that's why I'm parting with these gorgeous papers. Because I realized I didn't use them. Like I have so many papers I never got to use. So, you know, I'm parting with it in, in protest. No, not in protest. I'm just kidding. So that, that's Moroccan. I used to make little teapots out of it. Little... With the, um, there's a curvy keepsake box, curvy keepsake die, and you can take that Moroccan paper and make little teapots. It looks like really cute with the curvy keepsake. You put a little handle on the teapot. Anyway, I've had my fun with all these papers. I've, it, well, some of them I never touched before, but this one I used to use a lot of. Anyway, I have more and more. So if it's, uh, by the way, that, to answer your question, specialty papers are $4 for the little packs, and these are three fifty. dollars like this is three fifty because it's, it's just a little pack with no, no frosting on it, no foiling. Oh, no, PayPal takes every kind. You, it's just that PayPal checkout. It's called PayPal checkout. It doesn't mean you have to have a PayPal account. I should have mentioned that. PayPal checkout just means that you have to use PayPal to check out. But they take all the credit cards. PayPal's secure, and it takes all those other payments. All right, so you asked about the starter kit special. So I do have... So done with all that, that I explained my cardstock share... My designer series paper share. I explain the stuff I have on sale. I'm still labeling it that I'm putting in my shop right now. If you've already ordered other stuff and you want the paper still and you still have something else coming, like meaning if you already ordered a designer series paper share, but then now you find out you want to add stuff to it, I can send you a free shipping coupon. Okay, just so you know. But if you haven't ordered anything else, of course, you got to pay the $4 shipping. That's the flat rate across my site. All right, so now back to someone asked about this, this um, special. So starting, you just asked about the starter kit promotion, and this is something I'm putting in with my shares. It's kind of like a flyer I have, but it's it starts on June 3rd. This is our new special. And I can tell you about it because it's already, like the company is already telling us that we can tell people about it. Okay, so I'm highlighting the starter kit. So what's different about the starter kit? It's always $99 all year long. That's always $99 for the starter kit. You always get to choose $125 for $99. You always get free shipping. But here's what's different about it. This third bullet point is what is different about it. The third bullet point is that you are getting a free bundle. $31.50 to $60.25. That's me checking on the catalog. That's how much the bundles cost. I went and looked in the bundle index on the back pages. And that you can get a $60 bundle if you want. Or you can get a $31.50 bundle. Any bundle you want. What's a bundle? It means that you're getting... A bundle is when you get a, a, a tool of some kind with a stamp set. A bundle is like this. This is an example of a bundle. This is a bundle. Lovely You bundle. It has, it has these two things together. That's a bundle. Or you might get a stamp set and dies. That's a bundle. You could get the most expensive bundle, and that's like... It's something about flowers or bouquet, or I forget what it's called. But it's like a 60... Here. It's a $60 bundle. That's free. And that's still free shipping. So for $99, you can get the night, you get $125 worth of product, whatever bundle you want, the most expensive bundle if you want. And that's a great deal for just June, for the month of June. And then what else do you get? Same things. Oh, catalogs, materials, $50 worth of business supplies. You can start getting a 20% discount. You become a member of my team and, and the Beehive team, my uplines team, Hattie. Okay, my team is the Papered Chefs. Hattie's team is called the Beehive. So you're a member of both teams because you're on our team. You're on our teams. And then if you want to be a hobby demonstrator or a business demonstrator, we have we support you either way. Um, I'm more of an online techie person, and Hattie's more of an in-person workshop person. So we have different skill sets that we can help with. And the team helps each other. And we have team challenges, prizes, happy mail. So it's a great deal in June. It's going to be like better to me. To me, that's a better deal than what we had during Celebration. And I, I can't even believe that. I think that's, we had a great deal during Celebration to join Stampin' Up, but that's even better. All right, well, that's cool. So and I was asked, how do you sign up? And you go to my website and it's in the, oh yeah, the Curvy Keepsake die. You, you, I don't think you can get the Curvy Keepsake anymore, Linda. It's retired, but you can get the Mini Curvy Keepsake. So the mini curvy keepsake, just put that in the regular comments because I, these comments kind of go away because they're on a live video. 
the, you put them in the regular comments of the video and they'll be there forever sort of thing where I can find them and I'll give you the item number and the link. The mini curvy keepsake you can still make little baby teapots out of. It's just that with the bigger curvy keepsake you could have actually fit tea bags inside. We have a mini curvy keepsake where you can only put little Hershey Kisses and candy inside. Um, all right, so in the link of this description of this video is my website where you can sign up for these paper shares. Please sign up by June 3rd so you'll be part of this batch of orders. The batch where you're going to probably get everything that I said because there's nothing going to be on back order on day one, hopefully. And you'll get that extra little piece of cardstock, like I mentioned, a couple extra goodies from me. And whatever papers you ordered, I throw them in with your order. If you ordered any, I have stamp sets. I probably have 200 stamp sets that are retired that I'm going to be putting in my shop. I've only taken pictures of about 10 of those so far. But I have about 200 retired stamp sets that I have to part with. But I'm never parting with this little piggy. That's not one of them. They're going to be like more, they're going to be like older retired stamp sets, like wooden. Pretty good deals though. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for joining me. I, so I'm, I love when you guys join me. So I'm actually not just talking to myself like I usually am. <laughs> then I'm actually talking to someone. This was fun. And I hope to see you in my cardstock share, my designer series paper share. And that's all for now. This is the Paper Chef.